Adam not to be there, but you know that was a bit of a mad one. How do you kind of reflect on it? Yeah, um, felt all right going into it. Kind of tried to uh, relax a little bit more today, and just kind of I knew that I wasn't kind of ranked right up there in that heat, so I kind of I didn't want to go out super aggressively and put myself right at the kind of front end early on, and just kind of take my time, be patient, and make some good decisions throughout to work my way up and then feel good at the bell and kind of um, be able to close decently. Um, and sort of felt like I did an okay job of that, but I think maybe in the first kind of 800, because it's a little bit slow and tactical, I kind of panic and think yeah. people are going to be coming around the outside and then, you know, one or two people start moving and all of a sudden it's like you feel like you've got to be making a pretty hard move. And I think with probably 900 to go, um, Koska made a pretty hard move and right then it was like, everyone's going like I was in a great spot um, and when it happened I kind of was able to hold my position reasonably well but um, going into the bell then that was a big fall uh, I think three four maybe five yeah yeah I managed to stay on my feet but I completely I had to run out wide and um, basically come to a standstill and avoid it I didn't want to go down I've got battle scars from falling down at Glasgow but um stayed on my feet and ran around the outside but just kind of from that point on I sort of felt like I'd kind of missed the jump a little bit and um, then it was trying to play catch up from there but when that happens and you're a little bit back it's very very hard especially when the front guys have built that momentum and they start going they've avoided the fall completely and you're then trying to catch up I saw my inside Jakob was there and I kind of thought he'll find a way and if I can stay near him it might be okay but he just kind of glides away and there's there really wasn't a lot I could do, to be honest. I, I, I was about to say, you've got a history, could have been a recent history of being a bit from dingers and races. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you look back at that, is it going to be any kind of regrets from it, or is it just one of those moments where kind of situations and this is the 1500 meters yeah. and we, we all know what it's like? Yeah, to be honest, I don't really regret the way I ran. I think, you know, I probably would have liked to have been able to find a position a little bit maybe closer to the rail early on, but in saying that, if I was, I'd probably have been a little bit further back and maybe would have been a little bit more panicked about, well done, um, a little bit more panicked about kind of my positioning um, throughout the race. And so I feel like, you know, I did my best and it's just kind of the way it goes. Like when that happens, you got to deal with it and try and run as hard as you can to catch back up. And I, I did that, but to be honest, I just had nothing. Um, yeah, I feel like this outdoor season has been solid and very consistent, but not anything close to kind of what I thought maybe was going to be possible based on how indoor started. Yeah. Well, like the season so far, I mean, even going back to the cross country middle where you got back in back in the winter, I mean, yeah. it's been a staggering kind of rise, I guess. Uh, yeah. You know, you've been so many PBs over the indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it all kind of started, I would say, with the um, Eurocross. I feel like Eurocross in December kind of got the season going essentially even though it's at the end of the, the calendar year I think from Eurocross on I kind of started getting some good momentum went back to America in January um, and felt like during the indoor season everything was going really well running 349 in the mile is something I never never thought I'd ever do to be honest um, yeah and then kind of since then it's been a little bit um, bittersweet is probably not the right word it's just kind of been a little bit uh, trying to chase getting back to where I felt like I was at Milrose um, and you know I've definitely had some decent days but um, I feel like I've had more days where I think ah, that didn't quite go according to plan than days where I've been really really happy so that's so where it goes on to the next yeah